Kyle's famous! Who's Kyle? I didn't know I was Kyle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am I am just kidding. Okay, calm down. I don't actually think I'm famous. I do. Everybody, welcome to Kyle is Famous by John Szymanski. He reached out to me on Twitter and said, Hey, do you want to play my game? And it looks really good and funny. And I hope you will join me for this laugh, 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 roller, co roller coaster of laughing. Kyle wakes up. He is famous. Kyle is the host of the most popular talk show in recent memory, Stay Up Late with Kyle. Stay Up Late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year and the public has noticed. That's like me. That is like me. Just kidding. Inside has called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youths to explore STEM fields. Good for Kyle. Most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcasts. The eye of the world is upon Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay up late with Kyle. We'll be featuring Rachel May. She's a kind and lovely philanthropist. She is dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires preparation. Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely. Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Wither away! <laughs> Kyle decided to stay put and wither away. Kyle withered successfully and died. Shucks! Kyle is now a ghost. This does not relieve him of his responsibilities. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his room. Open the closet. Kyle opened the closet. It was dark and he could only really see his hanging shirts. Choose an outfit. Kyle decided to take some time and choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance is. Skunk paste. <laughs> oh, a suit of armor. I really am trapped between skunk pasties. And a suit of armor. We're gonna go with the suit of armor because it's more tasteful. Kyle wasn't sure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armor, but it felt like the right thing to do. <laughs> After much squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Scavenge. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for gossip. <laughs> Kyle firmly pressed his ear right into the carpet, hoping to hear some stray words from the neighbors down below. I hear Rachel May is going on a trip out of the country soon. Uncle Fred, tell me more. Well, what I will tell you is that every night I don a mask that looks like a bug in front of <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. Well, what I will tell you is that every night I don in a mask that looks like a bug and fight misdoers. There was a stunned silence. Then a door opened and someone exited the neighbor's apartment. That's beautiful. Kyle made his way over the desk and sat down. Write down note and check the desk drawer. Kyle opened the side drawer on his desk and grabbed one of the items stored in there. A small key. Kyle grabbed the small key he kept in his desk back to the desk. Kyle made his way over to the desk and sat down. Check the desk drawer. Assorted change. Kyle scooped up the change scattered around the desk drawer back to the desk. Fine, write notes. Kyle wrote down his first question. Are you a mother? Am I a mother? Is your mother a mother? <laughs> Is your mother a mother? What are some diet tips? Beef, <laughs> beef mashed or blended. I like my beef mashed. Like I like my women. <laughs> Bruh. Have you eaten, have you ever eaten a raw? Oh yes. Have you ever eaten, uh, you know what? Beef mashed or blended. Kyle wrote down his third question. 
do you ever smile? I purposely ran over a puppy. Uh, Kyle wrote down his last questions. What's your guilty pleasure? Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? <laughs> Kyle ripped his page out of his notebook. Oh my word. Uh, exit. We look, we made it out of the hall. We have one hour left. Check the locked door. Float through as a ghost. More. Kyle hurried to the set per normal. He ceased to be a ghost before he arrived. <laughs> what? Sitting across from his host's chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. Or whatever that word was. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here, Kyle responded. Ah! <laughs> Kyle started to stretch out his arms, tilted his neck upwards, and was interrupted by his producer telling him and Rachel that it was time to start the show. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and cameras clicked on. Gossip about neighbors. Good evening, everybody, said Kyle. My neighbor is a bug vigilante. With nothing more to say on the matter, he fell silent. Rachel also on camera stared at her hands and wondered when she was going to be introduced. The producer started cutting to different camera angles to break tension. Kyle continued to remain silent and stare forward blankly. After several minutes, neighbor Gabby walked out onto set. Hi everyone, she said smiling hollowly. My name is Gabby and I'm not a bug vigilante. Boss! <laughs> Kyle looked at Gabby and then returned to staring forward. Gabby began to reply but was interrupted by a bug-shaped intercom on her belt. Bug girl! <laughs> it squawked! A robbery is in progress on East 3rd! Report imminent! Gabby threw the intercom on the ground and crushed it under her foot. After a beat, she spoke up again. Something has come up suddenly! I must go! Gabby left the set. Well, said Kyle, that's all the time we have for tonight. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Rachel. Kyle got up, sh shook Rachel's hand, and walked past the cameras, leaving her alone. Not knowing what else to do, the producer ended the broadcast. In the coming in the coming days, fans of both Rachel and Kyle dubbed this show as a masterpiece of television. Stay up late with Kyle's online pages were updated to reflect this broadcast as the most popular ever. Kyle's producer later tried to have Rachel on the show again, but she was very, very, very busy. <laughs> Oh, oh my word, this is a masterpiece! This game is a masterpiece! Endings 1 of 21. You know what? Let's do one more. Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Exit the bed. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. We are going to sit at the desk. We're going to check the drawer, grab the key, back to the desk... Back to the room, exit to the hallway, check the locked door. Force door open with forehead. Kyle decided it would be best to try to force the door open with the use of his face. After smashing his features into a solid wood for several minutes, Kyle gained severe short term amnesia. Wow. Let's go to the kitchen. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Check the pantry. Kyle wanted to access the pantry, but found it was locked with a small keyhole. The pantry door lock creaked as if it hadn't moved for years, but eventually opened. Instead of an assortment of canned goods and grains, Kyle's pantry stored his massive amount of bottled lard. Chug a bottle of lard. Grab a bottle of lard. Kyle grabbed a bottle of lard and stashed it on his person for later use. Back to the kitchen. Return to the hallway. No, I don't. Nope. We don't want to return. Oh, each click takes an hour. I want to visit the tech store. Kyle walked into the clean white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Jim, an elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights. 
Steal Techno Jim. <laughs> Quickly, before the attendant could acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed Techno Jim by the shoulders. Finding that Techno Jim's cardboard feet were bolted to the ground, Kyle started to pull upward forcefully. After several tugs, Techno Jim broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. Kyle glanced at the attendant who was staring bewildered and ran outside. <laughs> Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. Visit neighbor Dennis Kyle approached his downstairs neighbor's door and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door and looked at Kyle expectantly. Deposit lard bottle. Kyle produced his bottle of lard, bit the glass neck off, and wordlessly dumped the contents onto Gabby. <laughs> he just left! <laughs> He's just like, hang on, I gotta get to this interview. All right, let's get to the interview part. Hmm. Rachel's smile quickly turned into shock as she realized Kyle had not put on clothes that day. <laughs> Kyle waved and smiled broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes. Kyle started making his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. As it became apparent that Kyle had no intention of leaving, Rachel made some excuses and exited to the set. One by one, the crew followed suit. Kyle was left all alone. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my word, are you kidding me? I want to do another one. Start preparing. Exit the bed. Open the closet. Choose an outfit. Slick suit. Let's try to do good with our interview this time. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. The chest pockets were full of random knickknacks. Now let's exit. Wait, return to the bedroom. Sit at desk. Write notes. Are you a mother? What are some diet tips? What's your funniest story? What's your guilty pleasure? We're gonna do good at this interview. We're wearing a suit. Move to kitchen. Open fridge. We're gonna prepare breakfast. Kyle constructed breakfast of poached eggs and toast along with a small fruit cup and grilled sausages. Let us eat them! Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. He felt refreshed. Let's return to the hallway. Leave the apartment. Let's visit the tech store. Ask for some free samples. Kyle asked the store attendant whether or not they offered any free samples to important customers. The attendant gave Kyle a confused and slightly vacant look. Kyle began to beg for a free sample. Wanting Kyle to leave, the attendant grabbed a decrepit phone meant for spare parts and held it out. Grab with hand. Kyle took the phone. Pla placently? Placently. Placently? Placently. Placently? From the outstretched hand and said quietly, Thanks for your service. Kyle now has this phone to use forevermore. Let's just return to the street. Kyle hurried to the set, sitting across the air of genuinity. Kyle approached her. Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening. Kyle responded. Answer politely. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. After other mild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle. Oh, sorry, that's not her voice. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I'm very ready, said Rachel, with a winning smile. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know. Are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that had crossed my mind. Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. 
Very reasonable indeed, said Kyle. He referenced his paper of question. Kyle asked another question. What's your guilty pleasure? We all have one. What's your guilty pleasure? Oh, well, that's an easy answer, said Rachel. Dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. It might sound strange, but it's tangy and sweet at the same time. I eat it far too often. Rachel smiled sweetly. Kyle asked another question. Speaking of food, what are your tips on dieting? Or... As I actually said, Rachel, you managed to keep such a thin and healthy figure, said Kyle. What's your best dieting tip? Well, a good diet starts with a plan, answered Rachel. And don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit. But, she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack here or there isn't allowed, she smiled. Kyle looked at his flabby self. Oh, it is me! (laughs) And decided not to comment and move on. Kyle asked another question. You've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle, but what's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel. I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. I made soup. In the soup I made, I swapped out the water and milk and tipped the whole jar of salt into the pot. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. <laughs> Kyle decided to move on. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Do you prepare for your interviews in advance because you seem very together? Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. Kyle returned home knowing the interview had gone well. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. Very well. Well, everybody, this has been Kyle is Famous. I love this game. I love this game. It's hilarious. And I am going to leave a link for this game in the description below. Go check it out. Kyle is Famous is amazing. It's out on Steam. If you want to see more of Kyle is Famous, hit that subscribe button because I know I want to see the other 18 endings and you want to see them too, I'm sure. So hit that subscribe button. If you did enjoy this and you ha 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 along with me, hit that like button. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. And if you share this video, any and all of that would make my heart go, I too want to die instead of getting up and then put on a suit of armor and go accuse someone of being a superhero. That sounds like a great day if you ask me. Then it's always have an amazing video. And here is your heart and your blink. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>